My own daughter calling me a thief. I'm going out. I've got friends, even if I haven't got any at home. Ivor's gone home already. I don't want Ivor. No, Andrew. I've told you. No, I can't stop thinking about you. Don't tell me you haven't been thinking about me. I haven't. Lion. Hetty. I'm not thinking about the future. I'm not thinking about anything long term. Marry Richard. We can just carry on the way we are. No. Not an affair. I've decided. I'm going to marry Richard. I've got to make that work. Dad, it's the morning. Will you get up and go to bed? Mum, someone's going to have to persuade Dad to stop drinking. Well, I'm glad that you finally accept what your father's like. When did it all start? Oh, long before he met me. I was 22. I thought he was gorgeous. He used to dance like an angel. He promised me he'd give up the drink and I believed him. Finally, it all came out. The story of my life as I'd never heard it before. When they got married. Drunk. When I was born. Drunk. When he had a job. Drunk. Fights. Arguments, court cases. Drunk. And through it all, my mum, doing her best to keep it all hidden from me. Are you ready? Uh, Ken usually gives me a lift to work. I'll just go and get my coat. Actually, Lucy, I've been wanting to have a chance to speak face to face. Your mother and I have been seeing quite a bit of one another. Oh? Yeah, I want you to know there's not been any hanky, any, um, shenanigans. Shenanigans? Well, it's only now that she's been reduced to living here in Diggs that Connie has agreed to move in with me. Move in? Mum, I thought you were going to go back home to Dad, not move into the dry cleaners. Oh, it's a very pleasant, autonomous maisonette. It's just above the shop. I've been trying to persuade your mother for some time, but, uh, well, Connie's a very loyal woman. Lucy, I'm not getting any younger. This is probably my last chance for happiness. Start a minicab service. What happened? The cash machine ate my card and I haven't even got enough money for the tube. I can lend you some more. Can't pay you back. Well, don't worry about that. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Thanks. It's all I ever seem to say to you now. What am I going to do? 
waiting to burst this last week. I'll let it all out. Dad did steal that money. When I asked him to give it back, he really, really scared me. I feel like I don't know him anymore. And I don't know, I don't know how to help him. first moved into the flat, everything was great. <laughs> it's all gone wrong. Daniel was a great person to cry on. There was something reassuring and protective about him. It'll be all right. He smelt lovely, manly and... Sweet. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. You feel better. <laughs> I was feeling hot and uncomfortable. What was happening? All my life, Daniel's face had been familiar to me. Now, he looked like a stranger. A very attractive one. What the hell is going on? Trying to seduce me daughter under my own roof? Get out! You took advantage of me. Did I? Yes. And it must never happen again. Why? Because we're such good friends. And, uh, we don't want to spoil that, do we? No. And women are always falling pathetically in love with you, and I'm not going to be one of them. Okay. That kiss had been a moment of madness. It was horrifying, but wonderful. I hated it, but, oh, it was gorgeous. It mustn't happen again. Could this fantasy be real?